Is it free lights for everyone? Oh, God, here we go. Uh, test, test, testing, testing. One, two, three, testing, testing. One, two, three. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Still no sound. It's no sound, right. guys? We're, we're, we're getting it, we're getting it here. I hear you. Okay, oh. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hello? Audio work. There we oh go. my oh. God, all right, here we go. <laughs> he did say it. <laughs> yeah, he did say it. Free lights for everyone, exactly. No. <laughs> Someone's gonna like edit the video, because I said, I was like, he said free lights for everyone. I went, oh no, oh no. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll just get rid of the second part. Yeah. Uh, what's up, guys? All right, uh, we got some fast comments today. Welcome, guys. Uh, you guys can hear us, that's good to know. Howdy from Texas. Very, very good. All right, cool. Well, um, what's going on, guys? Thank you all so much for being here today. Um, we are in Shenzhen, China at our headquarters. Um, I'm here with Amir, which is really cool because I, I usually don't get to, to do anything with right. him. So since we're finally here in the same place, we thought that, uh, that we would do a video together and just kind of hang out with you guys and, and talk Olights. Um, we are going big on the giveaways today, so yeah. do you want to... Yeah, we're going to do... So we're trying to do a, a, a simulcast with YouTube and TikTok. We're not sure if we'll be able to get that going as you've seen our technical difficulties already, but um, we're going to do some giveaways either way. Uh, we're doing three product giveaways, which will be the new i17, the O-Tackle, is that right? Yeah, O-Tackle D2. O-Tackle D2, and then lastly will be the... Racing Stripes Arcfeld Pro, all of our new releases, um, and we'll, we'll catch you in on how, how to enter and we'll do little game style. Um, and that's gonna come, so every like 20-ish minutes we'll do that. Um, but we're gonna introduce some products, talk about the deals. I know yesterday, if you guys watched, Sean was talking about the deals. And um, I checked them out after you said that and was like, what do we got going on? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some really, really good deals, guys. Um, one of the best deals you can get on this site is definitely the build your own bundle section. Um, if you add two items or more in that section, you're going to get 40% off of, of all of it, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, please take advantage of that section. There's a lot of really good products in there. There's some low cost items in there as well. Um, so, you know, 40% off, like if you've been following Olight for a while, 40% yeah. off is some of the best discounts that we do. Yeah. Keep in mind, most of the discounts on the site going on right now are anywhere from like 20% up to 40%. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite bundles was for the, uh, you can get a Baton 4 without the charging case and you can get an i1R2 Pro together and those are like 38% off. Yeah. Um, and it's only like a hair over 50 bucks for a baton four and a keychain light. Um, and that's just like one of the bundles on the site that I think is a screaming deal that you guys should definitely take advantage of. Um, yeah. Today, as you can see, we have a few other products on the table that aren't just the brand new items. Um, you know, we got the, uh, the Marauder Mini here. We brought out the Javelot, which we came out with last month. Mm -hmm. um, again, we've got the, uh, the Baton 4 there, the Premium Edition. Um, so, so we got all kinds of stuff going on. So uh, again, like what he said, we do have a few giveaways going on during this video. So if you're watching us right now, if you're hanging out with us, we, we do have a big screen in front of us and we can yeah. see your comments. Um, so we're definitely going to be hanging out with you guys, answering your questions. And as we continue to go through the show, we're going to be giving more and more stuff away. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. If you're watching right now, you could win big today. So yeah, yeah exactly. Good, good stuff. And I like the DIY bundle too. Uh, just, I like yeah. options, you know, actually I don't like options. I think I'm somebody that when I'm presented with too many options, I like <laughs> freeze up and, uh, and I'm not even joking. That's why I like, uh, you guys know about Trader Joe's. I know, I don't know where you guys live, but Trader Joe's, you, you got it. <laughs> we got Trader Joe's. Because there's yeah. not that many options. So when I go in there, I'm like the fastest. If I go to a normal supermarket, there's like 50 <laughs> chip brands and I'm like, well, I like that, but I had that last time. So anyway, um, <laughs> DIY is good for some, for me, maybe it's not. But one of the things I got to mention about the deals is the Marauder Mini. Cool. And I think I saw that, oh man, 
I'm, I'm dyslexic with numbers. I think it was 140, 139.99 after discount. Nice. Does that sound reasonable? It was, it was crazy cheap. And I know I like to talk about this in the, in the TikTok lives is this is what I personally call the professional series, which is just that beast of a light for you guys who are outdoor enthusiasts, for you guys that really need certain power. You have land, uh, you got land, Sean? No, I don't have land, unfortunately. We're, we're working to build up to buy land. So if you got One land, day, yes. Yeah, right? That is the dream. <laughs> After yes. this live, we'll have that. Yes, um, but that, that's a super deal on the Marauder series. I think there's a few colors. Um, and I, this is funny because I don't really have this light myself. I have a bunch of lights, not this, because um, I don't have a super need for it, as you know where I live. But th for the power and performance, I've, you, you, we've used this in a lot of test videos. I love that deal. And I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, so the, the Marauder Mini it is a little bit more expensive than the EDC lights and stuff like right. that because of the technology that's in it. Um, first off, just the battery in it is absolutely gigantic. So we've got a 32650 in here. It's 6,500 milliamps. Um, this is one of the largest batteries that we offer. Right. Um, so just the battery itself that it comes with is, is a pretty expensive cell. Um, also, it does have a huge amount of LEDs there on the front, um, so those are for flood. It's got a 7,000 lumen flood mode, and then in the center there, it has a throw mode that is 600 meters, and it also has RGB as well. So because of all the technology that's in this light, there's your RGB, and then we can go back to the white light, and then we can flip it over to the throw. Right. Um, so this basically has three different flashlights combined into one um, on top of the body being so massive with the head right here. So it's a lot more expensive to machine this light, and there's a lot more that goes into it. Um, it's simply just a much more involved and extensive process to create the Marauder Mini compared to, say, an i3T or something like that, right? right. I mean, that should be a pretty logical conclusion just looking at this compared to the other lights that we offer. So considering that we have such a significant discount on it, and again, considering that all of the products that we're talking about today have a lifetime warranty, right. which a lifetime warranty in itself is worth a lot <laughs> considering that most no products doubt. just don't come with that and you have peace of mind that if you have any issues with your light you can just hit us up and we'll either repair or replace it um, that policy in itself makes it worth it to get flashlights from olight i think yeah you know yeah so. I, th I think you're right and i saw some comments guys a bunch of people uh, some people using it michael immel says use it my security job someone's in north dakota Houses are miles apart. Yeah, exactly. So those are the places where this light would, uh, what am I saying, uh, quote unquote shine. Um, so I'm, I know it's not an EDC, it's not an everyday carry, but just mentioning that I saw that yesterday when I was browsing the deals. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll move on to some of the good stuff. So uh, if you haven't seen the release that we've had, we'll go through some of those products. We'll talk about these later on. We'll chat back and forth. Um, and uh, yeah, so what do you want to start with, Sean? Yeah, so let's go ahead. Um, I, I guess we'll go and jump into like some of the stuff going on for the event. So we talked okay. about the build your own bundle. Um, also, we have the free i3e. So this is one of the coolest colors we've done of the i3e. If you're watching this yeah. video right now, you're probably familiar with a lot of our products. You know the i3e. We've released this product many, many times in all kinds of materials and colorways. Um, and I mentioned this yesterday, but when we release a product again and again and again in a bunch of different colorways, the reason why we're doing that is because it's a successful product. Yeah. If the product is not reliable, if it's not successful, if it's not popular, why would we continue to come out with it again and again and again, right? Like you'd have to be insane to do something like that, right? right. So, and it's not just an Olight thing. Any company that continues to release a product again and again and again, they do that because it's really good. You know, Toyota keeps making the Camry and the Corolla again and again and again because it's a really good car, right. you know? And so that's kind of how we are at this point with the i3e, with the Baton series, with the Marauder series, with the Arkfeld. Like, we keep coming out with these products in new colorways because they're just some of the best flashlights you can buy. Yeah. 
Um, so we've got the i3e in the dream blue color, which is kind of this, I, I know this is gonna sound goofy, but, but it's like a grayish, bluish, greenish like kind of- Like a dark of, teal? Yeah. I don't know, that, I don't, I'm also trying it, to figure out how do I describe it. It's kind of like they took gray <laughs> and blue and maybe kind of a dark green yeah. and kind of combined it together to yeah. give us this very, very cool like matte finish, like dark teal. Yeah. yeah. Um, it also has these little gold lines right here on the uh, the knurling here to make sure your hand doesn't slip off of it when you open and close the head to turn it on and off. Um, these are free, guys. All you have to do is just log into an account during this sale event, um, which of course is going on as we speak, and you're going to see this in your cart for zero dollars. Um, it's going to be like when you first go onto your account, you're mm -hmm. going to be like, why is there something already in my, my cart? Oh, right? Right, right, right. Because it's already there. Um, you're going to click on it and you're going to see this in your cart for zero dollars, which yeah. is, I, I wish every time that I logged onto a website, there was something in my cart for zero dollars. Yeah, you right. know, like, <laughs> like <laughs> wouldn't it be fun to, to go to a clothing website right. and you log into your account and there's a free pair of jeans sitting in your cart. I agree like, with that. If only, you know, life was like that. So, <laughs> but that's how Olight rolls, you yeah. know? Um, so, so please make sure that you get the, the free i3e. It's awesome. Um, you want to touch on the, the i17? Yeah, well, let's just talk about the keychain flashlights in general because yeah, we, we were promoting ahead. the iMini 2 the, for the past few months. You guys probably saw that. Um, what what are other uh, keychain flashlights am I missing? I, I kind of... I don't consider this a keychain flashlight, but the i3T uh, is still a small flashlight. So for me, these, as you guys probably use them, are great gifts. Um, somebody that doesn't have a flashlight and is one of the, the phone flashlight en enthusiasts, I like to say. Um, it, they're just great gifts. They're good size, they're good weight, they're exactly what they're meant to be. Um, and so that's kind of how we position the products is, um, and I always say this in, in the labs, and I do it, Sean, is that we don't, want to sell you things you don't want we want to sell you things that you use because it's more beneficial for us that you're using the products giving us feedback talking mm. about the things you like about them talking about what you don't like um so a keychain flashlight is exactly what it's meant to be it's small it's portable it's cute i don't know i, I like just the, the form factor where you like pull the i3 um the i always get the names mixed up this yeah i3 I3. um well the thing is the i17 right here um it's it's a version of the i1R2 Pro, yeah, right? Yeah, We've exactly. come out with many, many different versions of this light. Um, the, the like pumpkin version that we have, and we right. actually have that as a part of the bundle where like we rounded out the edges of the light. That's a really cool version of the i1R2 Pro. Right. Um, we actually have that version in a bundle on the website right now, like I said. Yeah, um, but, um, but yeah, so the i17 is just a really cool version of the i1R2 Pro. Yeah. Uh, it's got a low mode of five lumens, high mode of 180. It's got type C charging. It's yeah. got a battery indicator when you're charging it up. Guys. It's got a really big split ring. So any kind of key setup situation that you got, it's gonna fit. Um, and I love the little like checkerboard pattern on there. Yeah. It's kind of like a racing theme going on. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> yeah, right. Double tool products with the racing style. <laughs> but for some reason, we like decided to get into the like car thing. Um, the racing stripes edition of the Arkfeld Pro. Right. We've come out with the, uh, well, we just came out with the Roadster edition of yep. the Baton 3 Pro. Beautiful light, beautiful that, light. That light sold out like immediately. Yep. Um, so we're, we're kind of getting into this car thing, this whole racing thing. Right. and. Uh, and I really, uh, I, I think it's a cool, it's a cool way that we're going with uh, with our line of lights. Uh, let's see here. And so, quick color wise, because I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, uh, the I seventeen Randolph. Is it Just want to say, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. There's a bunch of fun, there's a bunch of funny comments, guys, <laughs> but there's so many I can't respond. We can't. Um, the color is very similar to the dream blue, but it's I, I would say it's a little bit more on the, ooh, I don't even know how I describe it now. Now we're getting to like their shades. We're looking at hues of, of dark blue green, like you said. It's a little bit lighter. Obviously has a checkered flag and the silver accents, the, the i17, the Olight, and the checkered flag. Um, but it's a little bit lighter color, let's just say that, if you can't tell um, from your uh, phone or, or computer screens. Just a harp, harp on that. So moving on, what else we got, Sean? What else is a... Uh... Um, let's go, well, I mean, we were just kind of talking about this yeah. a little bit. 
Um, I saw a couple people in the comment section talking about this. Um, so the i3T2. Yeah. First off, the i3T2 in general is, uh, is a new version of the i3T, which makes sense, called the i3T2. Um, but what's cool about it is it's, it's actually built to be used with a 10440 battery. There were a lot of people who used the i3T with the 10440 before, but the circuitry um, wasn't rated stable enough to be able to run with a 10440. Yes, it works, it works, but we couldn't guarantee its safety and we did not recommend it, right? Um, so the i3T2, we went back to the drawing board and we literally redid the entire PCB board and the circuitry of the light to where it is rated to be able to work with a 10440 battery, which brings you up to 300 lumens with this light when it's so small it disappears in my fist, right? Um, another thing is we redid the pocket clip on this light. So no longer does it clamp onto the body of the light, mm. it actually has we, we basically milled out a giant hole uh, and then we were able to place it in between the tail cap and the body of the light. So it doesn't take away from the aesthetics of the light. And then also there's no way for this pocket clip to come off unless you purposefully unscrew the tail cap and pull the, uh, the clip off. So aesthetically, it's a lot nicer because you don't have this big clamp on the side of the light. And then also there's no way for this clip to actually come off. So those are the two major differences. Another, uh, well, another major difference that you can't really tell just by looking at the light is it has much better run times. So mm. on high mode, the, uh, the, the run time is 75% higher than the previous i3T. And it okay. doesn't get anywhere near as hot either. So we figured out the thermal regulation on this light and uh, you know we were able to make it where it will stay on high and not get super hot in your hand. So there's a lot of efficiencies going on with this light. The only real true physical difference is the pocket clip, but internally the, the improvements are tenfold on this compared to the previous i3T. So on top of all of that, we're donating 100% of the money that we make from this specific I3T2 in the starry blue to the organization for autism research. Yeah. I got to pause, I got to pause you because I think it's out of stock. Are you guys saying it's out of stock? Because I didn't know that I, yesterday. It was Is it stock. really? Yeah. I saw a couple of comments saying it's out of stock. I might have to, we might have to double because you're, you're like selling it, you're promoting uh, it and they're like, I can't buy it. I can't. Well, buy it. here's the thing. No, no, no. Well, well, here's the thing guys. Um, you know, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a spreadsheet of the stock levels of the website right, right now. Right. Um, you still have the lights. Yeah, I guess it's sold out. Well, that's a good thing. We're happy because we're raising money, right? But <laughs> everything that I just said pertains to the i3T2. Right. Right. right? Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, if you aren't able to purchase this, you know, autism, uh, edition, um, still pick up an i3T2. We've come out with this product in other colors as well previously. This isn't the first time that we've released the i3T2. This right. one just specifically is in this colorway. It's got our infinity symbol there on the head and we are donating all of the funds to the Organization for Auto Autism Research. So, um, but look, at the end of the day, you should have an i3T2 anyways, no matter what color it is or, yeah. or whatever. Like, yeah, no it, doubt, it, no the, doubt. It's just a great light. And I'm, I'm really amazed at what the engineers were able to do with the exact same size, the exact same form factor, and, you know, increase the runtime by 75%. Make it where it doesn't get hot anymore on high mode. Uh, make yeah. it work with a 10440. Like, that's amazing stuff. You know? Yeah, so. I agree. I this is I have I have one or two of them. I'm gonna give them to my niece and nephew. Um, and they're a good giveaway. And they're yeah. good, well, good giveaway, and it's just like a good entry level light for those that aren't ready to go to one of the the bigger boys on this side, right? So you guys know about it. You probably have more than we do. Um, but let's do a giveaway because we know you guys are waiting. So we got two choices to start. The first giveaway, it's either the hat that Sean's rocking, Olight hat. We call this like a cap, I don't know. And then, because uh, it's got like that, you know, old school, like, uh, what do you call it, the plastic? Trucker, yeah, yeah the trucker, trucker style, hat. the trucker hat. Um, or an Olight t-shirt, the one we're both wearing. Uh, what size t-shirt do you wear? Because these run small. I'm in an XL, and I'm like uh, five foot seven, 
Hey, five foot ten on Tinder. But um, what size? <laughs> what what size do you wear, Sean? <laughs> This has got to be like a three or four. Tell actually. us more about your Tinder profile. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm, no, just kidding. Okay. I'm married. I'm married. But before, no. I'm just before. kidding. Yeah, right. You got okay. to put, put, okay. the, put the numbers up, right? Uh, the shirt I'm wearing right now, uh, we actually had these ones made in the U.S. So I'm wearing like oh, nice. a normal like XL, um, but like the, the, the Chinese sizes I know, you know, run very, very small. And the Chinese sizes, I'm like a 3X. Yeah, okay, so. yeah, three, you have to be, okay, so let's see. We're, yeah, you guys pick shirt or hat, put it in the comments and we'll see which one kind of, I'm seeing more hats. Pick a shirt or hat, well. Which one are we giving? I mean, the hat you can always. 235. You can always wear the hat. You're probably close to 235, you're, you're, you're a big guy. You wanna. This, he said he's 6'3", 235, don't think the shirt's fit in you. Penn State uh, Civic. Hey, Penn State Civic, I am 6'2", 235. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, so we're like reference. the same size, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, cool, uh, cool. Shirt, hat, which one? Hat, hat. hat. All right, hat. I think it's looking like hat. Let's do the hat. I would go hat because okay. you, no matter what shirt you're wearing, you can wear the, you can wear the hat seven days a week. Right, you know that's what I'm true, saying? that's true. The shirt, you wear it once, you gotta wash it, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's true. So. That's true. <laughs> All right, how are we doing it, Sean? What's All right, the, let's do hat. Let's what's do the hat. format, like you did last time? Okay, cool. So we're gonna play Sean's lid. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to watch that. Yeah. It's hot here, guys. You're gonna like, want to watch it. Yeah. You sweat. yeah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do the number game for a hat. So I'm gonna pick a number between one and one hundred. And here we go. Yeah, nice. Thank you. It's nice having assistance in these live videos. I'm not. I don't have to do them by myself here. So um, here we go. So I'm gonna write down a number between one and one hundred right now. When we do a five second countdown and say go, we're gonna have the comment section start guessing what that number is between one and 100. Yeah. Whoever picks the right number first, you win the hat. All you gotta do is email us your shipping address and we'll send it out to you, okay? So let me go ahead. Wait, don't start, you guys are starting too early. Don't Doesn't start, count. don't start. So we're not starting until he says it, so pause. Okay, all right, I've got the number. All right, the number is given, and when we say the word is when you guys okay. start. So these are not counting. We're, we're, we're not counting these, so stop. You got it? Okay. All right, All right okay. ready? So we're going to start the bidding in five, four, three, two, one. We'll start at Jersey with 29. So go ahead, guys. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh. And we have other people staring at the screen too to, to pick the right one. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see. Okay, <laughs> no, no. okay here we I go. I think we got it. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, so, so Kiki, you can, uh, you can, so you can scroll up and you'll be able to, to see. Somebody definitely has already picked the right answer. I just don't know who did it first. All right, we got to stop okay. because someone has it. So we'll, yeah. we'll pause you guys. One second, right one second. I will be right back, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help them check it real quick. Okay. So, hey. Yeah, someone got it. You guys are fast. Wow, you're faster than I thought. I don't even know how many people we have in this live, but it seems like there's not a small amount. Man, you guys are just throwing numbers in. They're gonna have to keep scrolling up. All right, so we're pausing it. Someone won, so you guys can. Stop for the moment, and then we'll do more giveaways though. So don't worry, we're gonna hold give on, away. Hold on, guys, hold on. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. Bear with me, folks. Yeah, give give Sean a couple seconds. He's he's trying to <laughs> trying to go while the numbers are, okay. are going up. Um, so we're doing more giveaways too, and we'll get to the good stuff here shortly. Um, what else are we talking about? So yeah, the the, the organiz organization for autism research OAR. We partnered with them. Um, and really appreciate you guys buying this light and supporting autism uh, research. All right, I'm scrolling now, I'm scrolling now. All right, he's scrolling, so he's on it. Um, and yeah, they, they have a really cool mission and they're not focused on causing, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, they're not focused on looking for the causes of autism, but more for those living with autism, the caregivers, um, the people who are supporting those individuals. And um, yeah, I think we're, we probably all have some friend, family member, some person in our lives that we've been a, a part 
of, um, that has autism and uh, there's obviously it's a spectrum, there's different levels and they can be fully functioning members of society and some people have maybe stronger. So yeah, it's something that you know, we, wanna, we wanna do, do kind of campaigns that resonate with, with our fans and we think this is a good one and we think that it affects a lot of people. So we hope, it seems like you guys support it too, so appreciate you, yeah, we really appreciate that. So he's looking through, but you guys gave so many numbers that I think I saw it early on, but but um, uh, yeah. it, it started going real fast. So I saw special me so so uh, the number is seventy four, and I saw special memes pick seventy four, but I just want to make sure that they are they're the first one. Okay, so the number was seventy four. Sean says cool. I oh I, I thought it was I didn't, I didn't see the number, so that's why I didn't catch it. Yeah, the number is seventy four that I wrote down in the notebook. And they're trying to scroll yeah, we through. The numbers already. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, they're scrolling through, so we'll okay, we'll give them a, a couple seconds here, a couple maybe a couple minutes, because you guys just okay flooded it, right? Hey, we're live! Yay, live video! <laughs> <laughs> so bear with us, guys. Um, yeah, it was 74. I just want to make sure that he was the first one. Oh, you said so you saw. Yeah, I thought. Okay, I, I they're scrolling so back. Sorry. Life goes by, oh, bloody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Hit that like button too. Follow us too in, in our in our. Um, if you aren't, you know, subscribed to our videos, you'll see a lot of Sean. Yeah, you'll see uh, a lot of other stuff. Like we we want to do some more. We want to do you know videos that you're interested in too, right? So feel free to give us some recommendations on what you like to see. We know some of you guys like the factory tours, so we <laughs> might try to get Sean out to our um, anodization plant. Um, which which I actually went to last week to check it out. That might be cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. I haven't shown that yet. Um, okay, they're still trying, guys. We're we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, one quick thing, guys. If you could hit the thumbs up button. Um, we only have like 25 thumbs ups yet. Um, so hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Um, for some reason, YouTube really likes when people click the thumbs up button. So yeah, yeah. I didn't make that decision, but YouTube loves the thumbs up button. Uh, Dang, I did. Bam. Okay. Well, I saw the seventy-four from from special meme, so let's just go. Let's just go with special meme because I, I did specifically see see that name with the seventy-four. So let's do that one because I did see that special memes. All right, congratulations. <laughs> I did see that one. So yes. There you go. So congratulations. Um, send me an email um, because uh, you know if, if you're in the U.S., we will send it from our U.S. warehouse um, where I'm usually at. So just send me an email to Sean S E A N at olightstore.com. S E A N at olightstore.com. Send me an email with your shipping address. All right. So congratulations. Well done. Well done. Uh, we have more giveaways that we are doing during this video. That was just like the warm-up giveaway. Yeah. Um, we're going to be giving away uh, products as well. All right. Uh, just just email me. Yeah, Sean at olightstore.com. Uh, just uh, say you know, hey, I won on the uh, on the live stream today, and here's my shipping information. That's all you got to say. All right. Cool. Congratulations. Well done. Yeah, uh, I love these hats. I, I live my whole life in these hats. So, <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead and move on to to, to more pro products, right? So yeah. let's go ahead and do the uh, the baton for premium because we do have uh, quite a few baton for uh, additions on our website. We we've, we've got the blue and the silver version. Uh, we got the OD green with the gold accents version. Uh, yeah, really, beautiful. really like that one. Uh, we have the black version with the blue accents, the classic Olight look. Um, we might even have one or two other colorways as well. There's a lot of baton fours on the website. This is right. They're all discounted. Um, when we started the live stream, I talked about the, uh, the bundle that we have right now with the baton four and an I1R2 Pro and that discount is 38%, so almost 40% on that one. Uh, you know, free shipping for any orders, $49 or more. 
Um, so really, really good deals on the Baton 4, so, so we want to talk about those real quick. So you want to give us a rundown on that Yeah, right? so the Baton 4, I always like to say the Baton 4, the value to size ratio is super, super high because this is a small light. This is a very, very small, I don't know the exact dimensions. What is it, like three, four inches max? Um, three and a half inches, maybe? I might, is that it's very, very short. It's yeah. a very small it's light. It's the length of my pinky finger. That's how go. I typically yeah, exactly. talk about like the right. size of lights. To give it perspective, the light is the length of an average pinky finger. Yeah, so it's a yeah. tiny light. It has great knurling, too, so it's good grip for this size. Mm. Um, this color scheme I like, and I'm very particular about my color schemes. I, I, I'm going to call this like Green Bay Packer. It's not quite that same green, but I like kind of the green and gold accents really, really look good. Um, but the, the case, I think, is what stands out with the Baton Ford Premium, yeah. right? The case, basically, you have a, a power bank, 5,000 milliamp battery here. You have the LED indicator lights to tell you how much battery. Um, and the usefulness of it is you can just use the light while it's in the case. And the stepless dimming, too. Stepless dimming, right, yeah. Just hold down the light. Uh, hold down the button, excuse me, and then you're, you're, you're good to go. So uh, it's a similar concept to the Night Tour, the, uh, that really big uh, aluminum desk lamp that we came out with yeah. that had all the little holes in it and the RGB lights. I'm sure at least somebody in the comment section has one of those. Um, so it's the same concept. So when you, when you put the flashlight in the case, it completely changes the UI of the light. So you no longer have that classic low, medium, high turbo, low, medium, high turbo. All you have to do is just hold down the button of the case and then it will gradually get brighter and then dim down uh, as you go to the top of the, uh, you know, the lumen level of the light and then come all the way back down. Yeah. So, uh, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> I saw that that's what she said comment. I even said, why don't you give us a rundown? Like the amount of the office references that we've done so far in this live video is, I'm just gonna keep referencing episodes of The Office at this point. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> You know, one thing I didn't notice about this too when you're just talking there is that when I'm in turbo mode and I drop it in, it steps down. Oh yeah. So yeah. I, just like the secret Similar, floor, yes. yeah, you got it. Yeah. So that, that I actually didn't, didn't notice that till today. So that's a safety mechanism, also really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, again, I, I know you guys uh, have other electronics that you carry on you, right? So having this power bank, peace of mind. Um, you're going camping. You know, you go out and you're you're going exploring with your kids or whatever. You come back to the campsite. You want to recharge it. There you go. So I think it's just the form factor is really really useful. Um, and yeah, it's got a beautiful finish on the case too. I don't know what you call this. It's like a... It's just a matte finish. Yeah, matte yeah, finish, nice. like almost like rubber feel to it. So it's really easy in the hand. You got a lanyard holder mm -hmm. there. Um, Baton 4, this color scheme's great. Uh, what other color schemes have I seen in this? So there's a bunch of them, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I really like the, the blue with the silver accents on okay. there. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a bright blue and then it has uh, the silver bezel, silver clip. Um, that's a really cool one. We do have those on the site right now. Uh, TN, yes, you're right. So the Night Tour is, is right behind me, actually. It's right there. <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, if you take a baton light and you hook it up to the Night Tour, uh, it does the same thing. So it has that stepless dimming. Um, so, so same concept like I, like I mentioned. Um, yeah, again, like what you said, it's got a power bank inside of it, which is really great. Um, at, for example, when we were at SHOT Show, um, when you're at a trade show, you're having to like use your phone all the time because right. you're getting people's contact information, you're taking pictures and videos and all that kind of stuff. So like my phone, I was like draining my iPhone's battery like three times per day while we were out there at that show. Right. And all of us were charging up our phones with a uh, baton for premium charging cases. So yeah, that's awesome. I was like, thank God we have all of these charging banks. Uh, you know, power banks, um, you know, here in our booth. So, uh, so, so it really worked out for us. Um, Kathleen Smith says, what's the other light that can go in the case? Baton 3 goes in? The uh, Perrin Mini. Perrin Mini, yes. And there was one more. Um, what is the last one? Uh, I'm trying to put you on the spot because I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. those can't yeah, work baton with three, the, baton four, you Perrin can't Mini. use the, 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 uh, the, the button to turn them on. They can just charge in the case. It's the yeah. Baton 3, the Perrin Mini, and there's... Uh, Jersey Regal Blue, correct. Yes. And uh, one other one. We got to check it out. There's one other one. Yeah. 
Good. Yeah, I'm really glad that the Parent Mini can fit in it though, because uh, that way you get a right angle light that you can, uh, you can charge up with the case. Yeah, so anyways, uh, Baton 4 Premium, uh, really, really beautiful light, um, really amazing case. Uh, you know, again, it's discounted heavily on our site. Yeah. We have several different colorways, um, but the green is definitely one of our most popular. We had the green one at SHOT Show, and um, people just kept gravitating towards it. Yeah. And a lot of times people were just wondering what it was, um, right. which was kind of fun, you know? Like when we do these live videos and we do these YouTube videos and all this stuff, most of the people watching, a lot of the people watching are familiar with Olight products. Right. But when we go to these trade shows that have tens of thousands of people, you end up meeting a lot of people who don't know about Olight yet, yeah. you know? Um, we had people come up to our booth and they were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe all of this exists. I have an old mag light at home. You know what I mean? So there's always people who, who are new to the flashlight game, who, who don't know about all of the nuances and, and all of the technology that's happened in the past 10 to 15 years yeah. within the flashlight industry. So people walk up and they're just like, oh my God, what is all this stuff? This is crazy, you know? Um, I think LEDs has probably been one of the innovations of, of this century. And I, I mean, we're early in the century, but still from old, uh, what is it, candescent lights to LEDs. I mean, you have so much, look, we have, we have studio lights all around us, guys. And these are super high powered, massive lights that, like you said, 10, 15 years ago, were really hard to find or really, really expensive. They're still not cheap, but. <laughs> right, right. And I mean, it, we're, we're still progressing within the flashlight yeah. industry like crazy. Like, I would say right now the flashlight industry is similar to like the iPhone 5, yeah, right? Sure. So like as of right now, like we're all ready to the iPhone 15 Pro Max or whatever, like I, and, and every single phone that comes out year after year is kind of similar. And I feel like we've almost kind of peaked in the world of cell phones. They're really just not progressing like they were kind of back back in the day, yeah, right? Yeah. And so I feel like the flashlight industry, we're still in that phase where we are making waves. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we're really truly progressing when we come out with new models, yeah. which is very, very exciting. Um, the flashlight industry as a whole, I feel like is nowhere near its peak. Yeah. Like they're gonna continue to get much, much, much better as you know time goes on. Um, but it's amazing that you know, we've got stuff like the Arkfeld Pro right here that has a 1300 lumen flashlight, a green laser and UV and something that is only half an inch thick. Right. You know what I'm, it, it's, it, it's amazing that, that these kind of things even exist. If you've been a flashlight fan for a long time, it's, you know, we're going from mag lights and, and lanterns and stuff that are this big to, to this now. <laughs> I had one of those plastic, like, I think it took two of those big, thick batteries. You know what I'm talking about, like, the yeah. thick old school, and it, it lasted, I don't know, for whatever, an hour or so, you had to replace the batteries. I never even had, a, like, any mag light or a metal light. I just right. remember that, and then the past few years, I'm like, what, what, are, what are people doing out here? Yeah, <laughs> what yeah. has happened to this? But EDC is a, is a huge kind of movement, and I think people really enjoy it, and it's part of you know, what they think about when they go out, right? When you grab your keys, it's like, let me grab my light, let me grab my knife, let me grab my whatever you keep on, keep on your, your, your person. Yeah, and I mean, the, the people who don't know that flashlights like this exist, those are the people who are like, you carry a flashlight in your pocket? Right, right, what are right, you right. talking about, you know? know? But then you Deep start, down. but then you say like, guys, look, 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 this is the flashlight I'm right. carrying in my pocket. And they're like, hold on a second okay, that's kind of cool. I think I want to carry that in my pocket too. You know what I mean? So, yep. so we, we've gotten to a point where the, the flashlights are just so good and they're yep. so powerful that carrying a light in your pocket should just be a normal thing for everyone, you know? So uh, let's see here. I want a lamp for sure. I All love right. lamp. We're just going to keep 
doing movie and show references all morning at this point. Oh, it's the morning here in China, by the way. Yeah. It's the morning, yeah. <laughs> I, it, it was a rough morning today. I had a, I had a big coffee, and uh, I'm going to need another one soon. <laughs> You're going to have to get, get on enough. that. Yeah, I woke up just feeling like this is not the day. <laughs> but let's keep talking about the so, Arkfeld Pro because you got in your hand, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so Arkfeld Pro, um, just to be completely transparent with you guys, this has been the best seller of the sale so far. Yeah. Um, as it should be, it's it's an amazing light. I mentioned yesterday that the Arkfeld Pro currently is the third best selling flashlight on the entire Amazon.com platform. Um, that is insane. That is insane, <laughs> yes. Because there are millions and millions of products that are sold on uh, you know, Amazon.com. It's literally one of the largest flash or uh, websites in existence. Right. And the fact that we've got one of the the top selling products on their entire platform um, really just shows what a big deal this product is. Yeah. Um, and and just the engineering feat of producing something like this. Again, with the UV, the green laser, the 1300 lumens, the deep carry pocket clip, the magnetic charging the lifetime warranty, all of the cool colorways that we've done. I mean, it's got the battery indicator there on the front as well. Like, I, it's, it's a beautiful like, light. I have, yeah. I have OD green in this light. What color do you have at home? Um, I have the orange one. Okay. Um, I also have the OD green. Oh, you got multiple. I, <laughs> I, I recently got the one with the dragon on the front, okay. which I think we actually still have a few of those on the website. Um, I really like the dragon one because um, the, the year, so, so if you guys are familiar with Chinese culture at all, um, each year it has an yep. animal, right? I know and it. And so whatever year that you were born in, you are technically like that animal, right? Um, so I was born uh, the year of the dragon. So I'm a dragon, right? So because of that, I actually have a little red dragon bracelet right wait, here. Wait, so you're, uh, I'm also a dragon. You're a dragon we're as well? We're the, we're the same, same age. age. So, okay. yeah. Don't tell them the age though, Sean. I'm trying to, you know, these gray hairs and make So anyway, <laughs> yeah, you're so much more gray. Man, it's, it's stress, it's <laughs> DNA, who knows what it is. This might be the water. I'm not saying <laughs> what water I'm drinking, but. But, uh, but anyways, so, so, uh, so, so when we came out with the dragon yeah. version of the, uh, of the, the Arkfeld Pro, I, I had to get that <laughs> immediately. Um, because I have ties to, uh, to the dragon. Uh, dragon is my Chinese zodiac as well. That's awesome. Um, there's all kinds of, of, there's the pig and the But the dragon's the best. The dragon's the coolest. I mean, let's just tell it how it is. The dragon is Even the best. Even though dragons don't actually <laughs> exist, they're the coolest. That's what they say until you watch Game of Thrones. So yeah. uh, our coworker Kiki just came in and took away the i3T2 because it is sold out. So yeah, we knew that. We saw that from the comments. They told us. Yeah. So just to let you, th thanks for buying it and selling that one out, guys. But so now you just saw one less light. That's because <laughs> she's like, don't keep telling them about the light we don't have. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but uh, Year of the Rat. Yeah, the rat. Is another one. There's the snake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's all kinds. Snakes. If you too. don't know what year you are, um, then you should go online and look it up yeah. after this live video because it's fun. You yeah. Know? And it's also, like, any Chinese restaurant. Well, I don't know if they still have it, but growing up as a kid, it was like, what am I? And what it? You know, they have like coloring. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah you can look right. and see what you are. Yeah. That's how I first learned about this many, many years ago. But dragon's still the best. If you guys aren't sure. Um, just kidding. Yeah, we're both uh, dragons. SR Mach, uh, when, I, yeah, I think that's SR Mach 777. He's a bearded dragon. So I actually, I had a bearded dragon when I was younger. And oh, wow. his name was Hank. <laughs> and and when we got him, you know, obviously my, my mom helped me get him because I was very young when we got it. But, uh, but when we got him, he was like very, very small. And then by the time he died, he was huge. And I would basically just grab him out of like the little aquarium cage and I would just like throw him on my shoulder and uh, and we would just hang out like I'd be like oh, watching cool. TV shows and like so my little bearded dragon just like lived on my shoulder when I was at home hanging out. Um, if you have the, the opportunity to get a bearded dragon, they are magical creatures cool. uh, that look very cool. They're very, very friendly. 
Um, they and what have, do they eat? What do they, they eat? Crickets. Oh, they eat crickets. Okay. They eat crickets. Uh, you just go to your local, you know, pet store or whatever, and you can buy crickets. You just put them in like a little cage, and you actually have like a paper towel tube, and you put the paper towel tube in like the little container of the crickets, and they crawl up the tube, oh. and then that's how you can extract the crickets, and then you basically shake them out of the tube into the cage. Um, and then the bearded dragon runs around the cage and catches them with their long tongue, you know? Yeah. Um, that was my favorite thing was to, cool. to watch him feed and chase after the crickets and, and, and get them. So anyways, um, they take huge smelly dumps. You're right, Michael. Yes, that is, uh, do they really? that is true. Yeah, they do. Oh, that's funny. They do. Um, anyways, uh, RIP Hank. Uh, I loved Hank. That was one of my favorite animals that I ever had. Anyways, let's talk about flashlights. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're just we're just here chatting. You know what? Let's guys. do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. <laughs> Let's do a giveaway. Like that. What are we gonna give away? Let's do the O Tackle D2 in uh, aluminum with the carbon fiber on the so, front. So O Tackle, yeah. we'll get a close up here, guys. Um, what do you call the opening mechanism? Is is it magnetic? Is that how? It is magnetic. Okay. Yes. So magnetic opening mechanism. The O Tackle, beautiful finish on this. Um, what do you call that? It's a marbled carbon fiber on the front. Marbled carbon um, fiber. Beautiful. And this is just a super useful tool that you can just take out. You said it's it's for fixing knives yesterday. Am I am I right about that? Yes, but it, there's also a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. Right. Um, you know, if you're if you're nerdy like us and wear glasses, um, oh, you yeah. can tighten up your glasses with it. That's really good. Um, and you mentioned that torque extra tension here. Yes. If you mount it on the side. That's super cool. And then of course you can lock it. So if you're afraid of it opening. Um, in your pocket or wherever it is, then it's not going to open. So it's got a good clip on it too, man. Yeah, yeah su like. super cool tool. Yeah, I like it. I like this tool a lot. Um, I've, I, these are kind of some things I never considered getting until I'm like, well, I mean, this would be super handy just to have in your car or just to you yeah, know, and just be around. If you're like me and you're sitting on the couch hanging out and you just like sit here flicking a knife open and close like a thousand times, um, you know, eventually that pivot is going to loosen up a little bit. So it's nice to have a little tool kit where you can tighten things up, um, do stuff like that. So um, it's, everybody should have something like this, you know, in their collection, especially if you own pocket knives or have any type of thing with yeah. small screws that need to be tightened up. Um, it's, it's a very useful, you know, and with the carbon fiber on the front, it's beautiful. So, so let's give them one away. So this time we're going yeah. to change the, the rules this time, make it a, I don't know if it's going to be easier or harder, but this time you can only uh, enter one time. We're going to say start in the, in the comments, um, but not that it matters because you can only enter one time. You guess one number, one through a thousand this time. Why one through a thousand? We're going to see who is the closest to the number that I choose um, in the book. Doesn't matter. Uh, f uh, smaller or bigger, it's gonna. <laughs> so it has to be the closest. The closest. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're over or it doesn't matter if you're under. It's whoever's closest to the number I pick. Um, and and you know the cool thing about this is, I'm not trying to mess with you, you know, psychologically. But you got to <laughs> think like I, I may choose one or I may choose 999, right? But usually, statistically speaking, I'm not going to choose those for whatever reason. But that's all I'm going to say. Uh, but maybe I will choose that. Maybe this is reverse psychology. So we're going to choose the so number. so technical with this, right? Yeah, I like, I like these like guessing number games, right? All right, so one through a thousand. Um, when we say start, uh, um, you guys are already, you got, yeah, thank you, Jason Hyde. I need someone like Jason out here, you know, keeping, so we haven't started yet. So if your numbers I'm looking at doesn't matter. Um, when we type start, that's when it, we officially um, count. But um, let, me, let me think of a number first. Um, and whoever's the closest, uh, oh, hold it, hold the book up a little bit so they don't see it. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me think. I haven't even thought of my number yet. He's like about to write it like this. <laughs> What's an important number here? Thank you, guys. Randolph. Let's go for. Let's go for. Uh oh, it's a big decision. <laughs> All right, I just randomly chose one. There's no significance to this besides that it's the number I chose. All right, and we type start in there. <laughs> they used to type wait. Um, yeah, that's the number. You got it? All right, so let's type that in, and whoever's the closest, we'll give you maybe a minute or two, and we'll see. Um, so type start, Kiki, start. Yeah. All right. So when you see the stars, when it, and we're not looking at anything above that, guys. There it is. Boom. Olight, start. Okay. Guess. And you only get one guess. 
Oh my gosh. All right, stop. We stop, have a winner. Stop. stop. We have a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Go up. It was the second the guess. The second guess was the, the exact number. Look at this. Oh, that's unreal. We're, we're, uh, that's unreal. How did, oh, can they see, you can't look. see how I'm writing. That would be nuts if you were like watching how I wrote. 291, the second guest got it. I didn't see it. It was like name. Ashton or something like that. Here we go. It was, uh, the second guest, Ashton Steinke. Unreal. If you watched how I wrote, I applaud you. I don't know if you did. Hey, you Ashton, um, go enter the lottery now. <laughs> Now. <laughs> so Ashton, you're the winner. Congratulations. Someone else actually guessed it later, which is ridiculous. So that's nuts, guys. This so, is insane. Sorry that it was so fast this time, but congratulations to someone. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. Go was, enter the lottery immediately, <laughs> Ashton. That was Ashton insane. Stanky, you know how to Dude, contact that was really Sean, right? weird. I'm going to be like thinking about this all day now. Oh, so you could tell. What Could you tell, G-Ray? No. Can you? Did you look? I don't know. It was a seven or a two. It was a seven oh, or a two. Oh, shoot. So you guys are split. So we got to go do it like this. We got to do it like that next time. All right. Anyways. All right. Um, well, Ashton, still, still impressive that you did that. Still. That's crazy. Yeah. So Ashton wins. Congratulations. Enjoy yeah, your O tackle D2. Um, yeah. Real quick, uh, again, you can just email me. Um, I can submit your information to the shipping team in the U.S. Um, so that way it will uh, it'll ship out locally. All right? So, uh, so yeah. Uh, Sean at olightstore.com, S-E-A-N, spelled the right way. All right, so they all watched our hand motions. All right, I'm, all right we, we learned from this time. Sorry, guys, I didn't think you could see, like, from the camera angle, but they're all watching how we're, like, <laughs> so that's impressive, but still eh, in the gray area. We'll, we'll, we'll allow it, but we'll, um, next time we got to do it off screen. Okay. So whatever we do next time, don't let them see, or we'll so just, like... Mi miniature like movements right micro movements fair enough fair enough all right cool. um i think we can do i think because of that also we'll do like a couple more giveaways because we originally weren't going to give away the hat yeah. um we we did mention that we were going to give away an i17 and an arcfeld pro as well yeah so we'll do two more giveaways um we'll do the i17 next mm -hmm. uh here in a few minutes and then we will finish the live video with the biggest giveaway for the Arkfeld Pro and the racing stripes. The racing stripes. Okay. Yeah. We will ride it off camera next yeah, time. Yeah, no sure. doubt. No All doubt. Right. We learned. We learned fast. <laughs> um, I, I mentioned the knives, so I might as well talk about that. Yeah. The Drever is the first O knife that we released. Um, this is the first time that it has had micarta scales. Uh, I like the micarta scales because they're very, very lightweight. Another thing is the stainless steel liners um, that have been anodized in black here to match the blade and the hardware. Uh, we did drill some holes in the liners to remove a lot of the excess weight in the liners to give it a very balanced feel with the blade. Um, I hate when a knife is really back heavy or front heavy. Um, so we did a lot of internal milling with the liners to make sure that it's balanced. Um, it's a very, very nice kind of sheep's foot style blade that sweeps up a little bit like that. Um, it's very, very easy to sharpen. It doesn't have like a tanto or a recurve or anything strange like that. So it's gonna be a very, very basic movement in order to sharpen this knife. Um, it's got a very large finger choil, which is great. So you can choke up on it and do some fine detail work. It's got thumb studs, so you don't have to use the flipper tab. Um, so you can flick it open in all kinds of different ways. You can even do the spidey flick, um, even though I know it's like a trademark thing. It's the middle finger flick, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, so there's all kinds of ways that you can open up this knife. Uh, micarta is a very, very popular material for handle scales because it feels very good. Um, it's lightweight. It's very, very strong. Um, I could go on and on about this knife. It's got N690 steel. I talked about that mm -hmm. yesterday. Yep. Uh, N690 is, is a wonderful steel. Um, it's going to hold an edge, but you can actually sharpen it yourself. Uh, a lot of these super steels like S90V, 20CV, M390, stuff like that, it's very, very hard to sharpen mm -hmm. unless you have a diamond stone kit at home. Um, so I prefer to have kind of that middle ground steel where you can sharpen it, but it also holds an edge really, really well. Right. And I think N690 is kind of right there in that sweet spot. 
Um, this one has just a single standoff on the back. So if you need to take the knife apart, it's very, very easy. When we came out with the Drever, I actually posted a video on this YouTube channel of me taking this knife apart myself and cleaning it and putting it back together on the tabletop. Um, so if you buy this knife and you want to learn how to take it apart or whatever, I literally have a video on this YouTube channel of me doing that myself. It's very, very simple and easy to take this knife apart and put it back together. Uh, lifetime warranty as well. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very slender profile. Um, so when you have it in your pocket, uh, you know, it's not going to be in the way yeah. if you've got like a front pocket wallet or something like that there as well. I like when knives aren't too wide so they don't take up a bunch of pocket real estate. Uh, deep carry pocket clip. Nobody's going to know this is in your pocket. It's fully concealed. It's awesome. I have a quick, cause I don't know much about knives. And so I, I mentioned this to Sean yesterday. I'm not a, I'm not a big knife guy. Although I did have a custom kitchen knife made when I was in the restaurant industry, which was beautiful. Um, but I didn't know much about it besides that it was awesome and my chef got it for me. Uh, the question <laughs> I have is with the, uh, with the, like when you're tightening the screws, is there a certain amount of tension and torque you need to have? Or is the, it's not like a car where you have to know, you know how much you're using or just as tight as you can get? Yeah, so, so most of the knives that we offer have a ball bearing system. Ah. So it basically has two different tracks and inside of those tracks, it has little holes and we put little ceramic ball bearings within that track. And as the knife opens and closes, it runs on those ball bearings. So that's why when you open and close it, okay. it's very, very smooth and it can slam shut. The good thing about those ball bearings is it allows you to have uh, a little bit looser like tolerances. Oh, okay. um, so when you're tightening up the pivot, it's basically just based on feel. Like when you get to the point where it feels tight, but it's not too tight and there's no play, when you wiggle the blade, when you're holding the handle, right. then that way you know that it's right where it needs to be. Okay. Also, Makes you sense. want to tighten up the pivot to the point where the blade is centered in between the scales. Um, so there's a, there's a couple different ways that you, you know that you've tightened everything, you tighten everything up correctly. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, that's something that I do in the video. Um, I think I actually like tighten it up a little too much. I realize it's a little too tight. I back off a little bit. So you kind of just have to play around with it. But this one right here has spot on perfect centering. There's no movement whatsoever up, down, left or right. So this one is exactly where it's supposed to be. Yeah, cool. so, so we're good. That's yeah. the driver. Yeah, the micarta is really nice. And I know that because I have a cutting board um, that I bought from Sam's Club. Um, and they, they, they were saying like the way they made it was stacking, I guess they said wood pulp or something, some form of paper yeah. and like compressing it so much to where, um, because if you guys uh, are cutting boards, if you have a, a wooden cutting board, the downside is that bacteria can get in because it's porous, but if you have a plastic or something, with the, whatever this wool pulp thing was compressed, that um, it's still not gonna get you sick in case you, you know, cut some fish or you cut some chicken, blah, blah, blah. This micarta, if you want to, like if it feels dry to you, you can put a little bit of oil on it yeah, okay. and you can change it up a little bit because this is raw micarta. Um, there's no like coating on here or anything. Um, some people like to put a little bit of oil on the micarta. The oil from your hands eventually will darken the micarta a little bit as you continue to use the knife. Uh, maybe it's hot outside and your pocket's a little yeah. bit sweaty. Um, you know, so it, the micarta will change a little bit over time. You can even see, I'll show you here. I don't know if you guys can, can see this in the video, but you, you can see the layers yeah. of the uh, material can't, can't see. here in the section that was uh, milled out Let for like the finger. Show it to him. Let's get that close up here, guys. Can you see right above my finger? Mm -hmm. We got this in HD, baby, 1080. Can you guys see it? Can you see that? What are you talking about? Yeah, that looks super cool. Both sides too, right here as well. Maybe that's yep. a better angle. So the micarta is very cool. Um, it's it's an awesome material. It's you know not just an Olight thing. It's it's a very 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 um, popular material within the entire knife industry as a whole. Okay. Um, so uh, so there we go. Yep. There we go. Um, what I'm seeing a lot of other lights that we that are part of the sale here. 
Um, let's let's step on one of these. Which one do you want to harp on first? Go ahead. Um, Seeker 4 Pro. Seeker 4 Pro, cool. I'll say a few things. Uh, Sean can say what he likes because we obviously have different tastes in, in what we like. So the Seeker 4 Pro, uh, 4,600 lumens, 260 meter throw. Um, and just similar to this uh, Baton 4 Premium, it has, I won't call it stepless dimming. How do you describe this dial? Just dial dimming? Um, How do you call that? Because I don't really have a It really name. is, yeah, stepless dimming. Yeah, I just call it like a, like a rotary dial. Yeah, like yeah. a rotary dial, like an old phone, right? Yep. So you got this rotary dial, which is super smooth and fun if you're one of those people who likes to fidget like me. Um, and that's going to get you up to your 4,600 lumens. Um, this micro perforated side, um, it's, it's super hard to see, but like you've said before, in real life, it's super cool. And it's basically, basically laser etched into the metal. Mm -hmm. So you can see the LEDs, indicator lights um, for your battery and how bright your light is. Um, but the thing that sells me on this besides the dual charging options, which I'll say is I love the rubber grip. Mm. So I have sweaty hands. Um, I play some keys and I remember like before when I was like doing my recitals as a kid, like I would get nervous and my hands were like rivers. <laughs> and I'd be like, before I was gonna go on, and I was like seven, nine, I was a young kid, and I just remember that. I'm not that bad anymore, of course, um, but I like the rubber handle. It goes around the hole um, besides the Olight uh, logo here, right? And that just offers a really comfortable, comfortable grip. So for me, when I'm looking at what I like for EDC, it's how does it feel in the pocket? How does it feel in the hand? So I would be prone to carry this in the hand myself. Um, although, going on to the clip, you have the dual clip. Uh, I'm sorry, you have the clip option, which does have the Type-C charging. Mm -hmm. And then we have the MCC3 charging on the bottom. So however you like to charge, we know there's lovers and haters on both sides. We also, uh, on the website right now, we also have the horizontal um, uh, holster as well if you want to get oh, that cool. separately and that way you can have the uh, the light clip to your belt and it is in this orientation versus being vertical like that um, what's cool about that is you can use the light while it's in the holster yep. um, if it's pointed forward then you basically have a hip light um, the light is hip when you're using it on your hip yeah there we go Right? Yeah, it's um, hip on the hip. It's hip on the hip. Um, but yes, so we, we do have the extra holster there as well. Um, the horizontal holster still has all the same technology too uh, with the type C charging, the auto lock and unlock, and then the auto dimming feature when it's in the, uh, when it's placed into the holster as yeah. well. So, so it's really, really good. Um, I really like it in the OD green. I'm glad that we did this. I think it was overdue to do this. Um, if you guys remember, I released this product at the OFAN day that we did at our uh, Virginia warehouse in the States. Um, and that was, uh, that was, that was amazing. Um, it was one of our best events ever. Um, you know, I, I think about OFAN day all the time and I, I can't wait for us to do it again this year, but, um, but so anyway, some comments, Sean. So uh, Randolph Ham don't have a secret for, but love the Jav a lot. And Kyle says Arcfell Pro is very flooded. Can you give a little, um, give a little, d describe the differences here in, in the actual performance wise? Yeah. So if you want to have like a little combo situation, um, having a secret for Pro and having a Jav a lot, and now you can get them finally in the matching OD green. This is a great little combo because the Javelot is a very, very tight hotspot. Yeah. And it's built to go an extremely long distance. This one has a 730 meter beam distance. Um, that is incredible. That's why it's called the Javelot. Any Olight that is called the Javelot something um, is going to be a long distance throw type light with a very tight hotspot with extremely high candela intensity. The Seeker 4 Pro is the opposite of that. Right. This has four LEDs with mm -hmm. small reflectors, so you're getting a very wide flood beam. Yeah. So you've got your super tight hotspot long beam with the Javelot, and you've got your extremely wide open flood beam with the Seeker 4 Pro. Um, if you're looking to have the best of both worlds, like we like to say, um, Get an OD green Javelot and an OD green Seeker 4 Pro, and you got a thrower and a floodlight that is exceptionally powerful. And then on top of that, all you need is a pocket light. So, for example, like you could get both of these, you could have an Arcfeld Pro, you could get the keychain light, 
Um, you can get a pocket knife. You can get your tool um, to work on your products. And then you're kind of done. Like you got your setup, right? You got your keychain light. You've got your EDC pocket light. You've got your thrower. You've got your flood. You've got your knife. You've got your tool. You and everything. you're ready to just, you're ready for any situation you could possibly think of. And all of these products are available right now discounted, you know? Yeah, this is the time to get it. I so, like you said, you have a thrower and a flood. I was gonna say you have a thrower and a shower for the Seeker 4 Pro, because <laughs> we're going with puns today. But uh, yeah, so for people that are in like, you know, security, law enforcement, I'm gonna say you're probably gonna get, you're not gonna get more value out of the Seeker 4 if you were choosing that, but I think that I've seen a lot of people in those industries that like it because of the holster and because you have that, that flood that you may need if you're like searching, I don't know if you're in houses or like searching through. Well, uh, the, so, so, you know, I, I've, I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of police officers and become friends with a lot of police officers, you know, during my, my tenure here with Olight and um, law enforcement officers, they, they really, really like high candela. You want a, oh, high, you want a high intensity flashlight. Um, that's what you need. So okay. the Javelot, considering that it has the side switch, but it also has the tail switch, yeah. it's a really good size as well. It's got an aggressive front bezel. Um, you've got the Candela, um, you know, 730 meter beam distance. So the Javelot is a fantastic first responder law enforcement light for sure. Um, you know, the Seeker 4 Pro, it's more of just kind of your everyday mm. do it all kind of flashlight. These are really good if you have a big backyard, maybe you live on some land or something like that. Having a very, very high uh, lumen wide beam right. is really good because you can light up your entire backyard with the right. Seeker 4 Pro. You can light up your entire campsite with the Seeker 4 Pro. Um, but in terms of, you know, first responder, law enforcement, that kind of stuff, um, the Javelot, I think, is, is an incredible option for that. And it yeah. comes with the holster. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's several Kydex makers out there that can make can your own custom Kydex thing. holster for it as well. Um, you know, I'm That's sure there's the universal one. leather holsters and nylon holsters that you can get. Because this is a very kind of typical flashlight uh, shape and size. Um, but, but yeah, so... Well, so yeah, that's, that's I thought I wanted to mention to that. You yeah, know, I'm glad you said it. Um, I, I, some of my best friends are police officers, well then, and, and they always talk about how um, you know you want the high candela flashlights. Okay, so that um, is what they want. So, so the Javelot is a slam dunk, especially with that you know tail switch. You got the stainless steel tail switch. Really nice stuff. And the beam is tighter than you guys just saw in the video. Um, it looks like that because uh, we because we're inside and just the way that film reproduces images. Uh, it's actually a tighter beam than what you saw. And so the farther out you go, the beam's gonna get bigger just because of distance. But like you said, 730 meters, which is a little bit under 2,400 feet. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's ridiculous, guys. That's yeah. super good. And I've used this outside and we, we shot some uh, videos with it. It's, it's impressive, it's impressive. It's probably not the light that I need in my personal light, like uh, life. I'm probably more of this like unibody design or even like the Seeker 4, cause I like the throw, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's the that's new news to me. So they, they want high candela. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a really big deal. And so mm -hmm. what's, what, for what reason is that specifically? Is it because they, they need to see, like, they just want to spotlight what they're looking at and they don't care about, like, seeing the, let's say, a wide view of things? They just True. I mean, you know, higher candela is definitely very good for self-defense, but also you need to be able to search, right? Uh, um, you know, high candela is much better for, for searching. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, because cool. you're going to be able to see something that's, that's further away and further out. Um, and then of course, you know, if, if, if you need to use the flashlight in an encounter or something like that, having that higher intensity is going to be more useful, right? Makes sense. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's, it's good stuff. All right. So next giveaway time, we're back on it guys. What's it going to be, Sean? What's it going to be? What's our timing like guys? What's our timing? Let's like? go into seven minutes left. 
Oh, 70 minutes. Okay, oh, it's okay. been 70 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's been like a little over an hour. So let's go ahead and jump into, we're going to do the uh, the I-17 now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and then next we're going to do the Arkfeld Pro. I promise we're going to wrap it up because we're, we're almost done talking about all these products. Um, again, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. Um, you know, I assume most of the people watching here are in the U.S., but even if you're in some other time zone, it's probably, you know, late at night for you guys. So thank you so much for, for hanging out with us. Um, so we're going to do the I-17, really fun collector's item, uh, commemorating our 17th anniversary going on right now. Um, so let's go ahead and do, I'll just do the number game again. Yeah. We'll do the one through 100. Um, so I'm going to basically just come up with a number, put it in the notebook off camera. <laughs> but it doesn't start till we say start in the chat guys. So when we say start in the chat, then you can give a number out and that's when it starts. Anything above that doesn't count. So don't try to start now. I want to say uh, it's, it's also crazy that Elon Musk is watching today. Is he watching? Cyber that? truck here. Yes, yeah, cyber uh, truck. He's been, saying some, <laughs> he's been saying some funny stuff. I'm, I see you, cyber truck. Can I have a million dollars? <laughs> um, all right, so, so I'm going to go ahead and write a number down between one and 100. I'm going to walk off camera and do that. And then we're going to do, uh, we're going to write start yep. in the comment section. And then you guys can start guessing. So let me put the number down. Yes, yeah, should in the we notebook. do one entry this time, though? Should we just do one entry, Sean? What do you think? No, they can guess. It's okay. okay. Okay, it's okay. He, he said it's okay to do more. Yeah. He All said right. it's okay. But he's writing it down. Don't start yet. Do not start. Wait till we All write start. So this is the I-17, guys. Um, if you haven't had one before, the way to operate yeah. is super simple. You twist. Half twist gets you on low. Full twist to the end gets you on high. But the cool thing is, just like the I-3 EOS, you can pull it back, um, and that's going to get you on low, which I like that, too. Oh, it'll get you on high okay. if you twist again. Um, okay. So... We are typing start into the chat right now. Okay, go ahead. Start guessing between one and 100. Yeah. Oh, man. Woo! See? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see a number, so I have no idea what Yeah, <laughs> this is how it usually is when I, when I go live on Fridays. Um, <laughs> okay. It's so, uh, okay, you got, uh, we it? got it. Pause, stop. The winner has been found. I didn't see what number it was. The winner is Lance Kirkman. Lance Kirkman with 44. 44 for the win. Lance Kirkman, fantastic. Just for verification, so we're not messing with you. And we learned our lesson. We learned our lesson, guys. Congratulations, <laughs> Lance. Well done, well done. Congrats, my friend. There you go. Yeah, we're tagging you in a comment right now. Uh, again, Post send me an email, <laughs> Sean at olightstore.com, S-E-A-N, at olightstore.com with your shipping information. Yeah, Congratulations, yeah. well done, well done. I we got 17. one more giveaway that we're gonna do here soon. Um, we're gonna talk about a couple more products here first and then we will go ahead and close the show. Should we do a little Q&A? Maybe we should answer some questions because we talked about most of the products. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can, we can. Um, you know, last thing I wanted to mention, um, I am glad that we brought back the Arkfeld UV. Oh yeah, yeah. The Arkfeld Pro does have more features, but there is one significant advantage of the Arkfeld UV compared to the Arkfeld Pro. It is way smaller. Yeah. It's so much smaller in the hand. If you're holding an Arkfeld, I hope that at least somebody in the comment section right now has an Arkfeld UV and an Arkfeld Pro. If you're holding one in each hand, it's crazy how different they feel. Yeah. Um, Arkfeld UV is significantly smaller. Yeah. Um, so if you're okay not having the laser, um, if you're like okay this. with the thousand lumens instead of the 1300, because that's really the main difference is, is the Arkfeld Pro has 300 more lumens and it includes the green laser. Arkfeld UV is 1,000 lumens with the UV. Uh, same charging system, MCC3, deep carry pocket clip. Uh, it's really just the 300 lumens extra on the Pro and then the green laser. Um, the Black Lava has yeah, been an absolute hit for us. It's good looking, yeah. We've come out with the Black Lava Edition, several different lights. Uh, one of my favorite Black Lava lights that we released was the Warrior Mini 2. Um, that was a wonderful release. That's one of my favorite lights in my collection. We even did an i3e in the black lava as well. Um, 
So it still makes sense to continue releasing the Arkfeld UV. It still has a place in the lineup, even though the Arkfeld Pro is technically an upgrade. Like, yeah. uh, for example, like the iPhone 15 Pro, there's also the iPhone 15 Pro Max, right? There's a reason why they continue to make those multiple yeah, versions. Absolutely. Even though the, R, the, uh, the, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I think has a little bit better battery Maybe the camera is a little better or something like that. It has a couple little advantages, but people continue to still buy the smaller version because they simply just want a smaller device, right? Yep. So I think the Arkfeld UV still has its place in our lineup, even though the Arkfeld Pro does exist. Right. Um, and coming out with the, with the Black Lava is, is always a slam dunk colorway. Um, so I, I think it's still absolutely worth it to pick up the UV and the Black Lava um, you know, even if you're, you're thinking about the pro, um, you know, and you can have both, you know, if you're an Arkfeld fan, have both because sometimes, you know, depending on the type of pants that you're wearing, like when it's the summertime yeah. and I'm wearing shorts instead of jeans, I typically wear a, a, a smaller flashlight. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's the same thing as firearms. Typically people will carry smaller firearms during the summer because you're simply wearing less clothing, right? Right. Um, so so I, I'm kind of the same way. I carry smaller flashlights during the summer than, than during the winter. Um, so uh, so yeah, Arkfeld UV, Black Lava, it's, it's, it's still a fantastic light even though the Pro exists. Yeah. We had a, a, a good comment. Philip Dumas says, just curious as to what the host's favorite current Olight is. What's your, what's your favorite? Your favorite light, because you got them all. You got most. Of, I wouldn't say all, but you have a lot of lights. I carry the Arkfeld Pro a lot. Okay, yeah. so that's your day. Yeah, and, I, and I typically carry the Arkfeld Pro. I just like the flat design. Yes, it's, it's, I agree. Oh, there we go. There you go. There um, it it's it's fine. We do a lot of drop tests. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, it's once I started carrying the Arkfeld Pro, and and you know this is my job, right? So when we come out with a new product, I I carry it, you know, because I I want to get used to the product. I need to become an expert on these products, you know, because that's that's what I do. So when we come out with a new product, um, I, I carry it as much as I can. I try to get used to it. I try to develop an opinion and ideas about the product. I compare it to other products. Like you know, this is this is what I do, and um, I've just gotten so comfortable carrying the Arkfeld Pro that when I put a larger flashlight in my pocket, like a cylindrical design, it just I can feel it in my pocket much, much more than the flat design. I agree. Um, so I, I'm kind of spoiled by the Arkfeld because uh, I, I, I just enjoy carrying that flat design so much. With the deep carry clip, it's, it's been a real joy. Um, so I, I hope we continue to keep coming out with more and more colorways of the Arkfeld. It is uh, currently our most successful product. Um, just being transparent with you guys, um, we've sold at this point um, you know well into the six figures mark of how many products um, how many Arkfeld pros are out there being used on a regular basis so uh, so there we go <laughs> uh, Sean can you explain the idea behind the o daddy <laughs> um, you guys in the o daddy comments are awesome I think it's kind of funny you know I, I, I suppose it sparked from um, the the fact that uh, just to give you guys an idea of my background, um, you know, I, I don't really talk about this that much, um, but you know, if you're, if you're relatively new to the Olight world, maybe you haven't been here a super long time. Uh, I'm actually the first American who ever worked for Olight. Um, I also started the first Olight USA office in America. Um, so in terms of like Olight USA, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of one of the founders in, in that aspect. Um, so because of that, you know, people, I guess some people, you know, joke around and call me the O daddy because I'm, you know, kind of the, yeah, I guess one of the one of the dads of, of Olight USA. The I, OG I, is they I, say, I suppose, right? yeah, I'm kind of the OG Olight <laughs> USA. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of that. I'm, I'm very proud of, of all the, the hard work that we've done. You know, I, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without all of the, the hundreds and hundreds of extremely hardworking people here at Olight. Uh, everybody here at Olight works so freaking hard and you can tell just by, you know, from the brand and the passion that we have and the products that we make and the innovation and, you know, there's, everybody works super hard here um, and, and you can see it. Um, so, 
so there you go. That's, 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 uh, that's kind of my, my background. I guess that's where the, the OG, the O daddy thing came from. So. Yeah, and you've seen a lot of, I think you've seen a lot of the progression as it goes through. Oh, and for sure. When I, when I started with Olight, the company was tiny, right. um, very, very small. Um, there was only like a few products. Um, you know, uh, our, our social media was non-existent. Um, you know, I basically started our social media. Um, you know, I started up this, this YouTube channel. I started up, um, you know, our Facebook group. Um, yeah. so, you know, we, we I kind of had to start from scratch, uh, when I, when I started with the company and, um, you know, we've been able to build, uh, this incredible brand and, and now we have, some of the, the, the highest selling flashlights on Amazon for God's sake. So it's, it's impressive. It's, it's, it's impressive. It's amazing. Uh, and, and you know, one of the things you don't <laughs> see, I think in, when it comes to companies, just because we're the way that media works and we're always, you know, exposed to the positives is you don't see number one, the struggles that going through and surviving. And number two is you don't see how many companies fail that they may even start it out. Okay. But this just couldn't sustain it. So, uh, sustaining anything for 17 years is impressive yes. and being able to go from, you know, the original concept um, to, you know, whatever the original lights were and then just getting better uh, through time and building, you know, a bigger business and a bigger team. And, you know, it, it, it has some downsides because things get, you know, more bureaucratic and it, some things may be slower, but you also have more power and you have better you know economies of scale so it's, it's impressive and it's, it's 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 a part of the culture of the company um you know our, our ceo fox i'm sure you've heard the name fox quite a few times um he the amount of hours that, and the and, and the work that he puts into this company is unbelievable, yeah, is unbelievable. he's that ceo that's the first one here in the morning and the last to leave at night like that that's him he works on saturdays um, so, you know, he kind of set the precedence and, and set the culture of this company to just put the work in and you will see the results. And that's simply just what we have done here at Olight is the work was put in and we're, you know, finally, you know, starting to, 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 to see some of the results, you know, obviously there's so much work to do. Um, you know, we, we want to be 10 times bigger than we are right now. Um, but within a 17 year period, you know, having kind of a niche flashlight company, um, the, the things that have happened here really is, uh, is, is pretty incredible, you know, yeah. and it just comes down to putting the hours in, working hard, making the right decisions, learning from your mistakes and just getting better and better and better. You know what I'm saying? And so I'll just harp in on that. Um, because you know we, we always pay attention to your guys' feedback, and we know this year you got you guys have been waiting for our sales and you know new stuff. This is a, a, a massive sale, and there's a lot of good stuff happening. So get into that cart right now and see what what you you, you need to add to your cart and and uh, what purchases you want to make. But also next month. We mentioned yesterday, but we got to reiterate is that uh, you will be at uh, the NRA show. Yes, Dallas, Texas, um, and we do have a bunch of new products coming out, new colors, but new products, specific new product lines. That's all I'm going to say. But I will say you will be happy. You will see some innovation. You're going to see some stuff. You're just like, wow, that's impressive. That's weird. That's cool. Um, yeah. So be ready for that, guys. So we have been working behind the scenes. You don't see it always. Maybe you don't always, we don't communicate all the things that are going on because there's a lot of, you know, beauty to the chaos that happens, but good stuff is coming. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, the, the next couple months of my life are truly chaotic. Uh, <laughs> I mean, first to, to, to kick things off, I'm spending a month here in China. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of that. I've, I've almost been here a week so far. Right. Um, so I got a few more weeks and then after that, I'm you know, flying back to the States and then I got to go to uh, a wedding that I'm a groomsman in oh, nice. and then I got to come back and then I'm going to Texas for the NRA show. And we're doing this big epic like product unveiling presentation that, you know, I, I get the opportunity to be the host of similar to O fan day, um, except right. with other new products. And, um, and so, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so there's then, a lot of and, stuff coming up. And then after that, I'm, I'm going to end up moving to, to a new place. Yeah. It's, 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 it's <laughs> Things are happening in summer. That's yeah, what we're from, trying to from say. From now until like the end of June, my yeah. life is pretty much 
do, 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 you know? <laughs> right, absolutely. And, there's, and, and like you said, there's a lot of things that go into, yeah, there's a lot of things going into the exhibitions. Exhibitions are really, really time consuming and there's a lot, we have a lot of different departments that are working on the presentation, on the displays, on how we get our products out there. Of course, the lodging and all that stuff for you guys that are gonna be there, that's a huge, you know, cost and time yeah. resources wasted, but they're not wasted, used. Uh, Fresh Kid, yes. So, um, so, so he's talking about the Warrior X4. The Warrior X4, okay. it's this beast, tactical light. It's got incredible candela. We're talking about law enforcement lights. Um, besides the Javelot, the Warrior X4 is a great option. It's got huge candela. Um, I believe the, it's got a 600 meter beam distance. So it's, uh, or it might be 630. It's in the sixes. Um, it's a little bit less than the Javelot, but the hot spot itself is larger than the Javelot. So it's a little bit more of like a hybrid light. You've got a very, very strong candela, but you still have a, a little bit larger of a hot spot. The only thing about the Warrior X4 is it's extremely cool white. Uh, it's basically, it's the definition of a cool white beam. The uh, <laughs> it's fresh. definition of a cool white beam. Um, so, uh, so, so we got a comment in here asking if we can do a neutral white version of the Warrior X4 because of the fact that the current Warrior X4 has such a cool white beam. Mm. Um, I, 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 yeah, I hear you. That would be really cool. Um, you know, I definitely put the word in. Um, you know, I can't guarantee anything, um, but that is a, a valid request for sure because the the Warrior X4 as it stands is about as cool white as cool white can get uh, in terms of the uh, you know the Kelvin on that one. So yeah. Let's see here. Any other questions, guys? Any other thing that, that we can talk about before yeah. we move on to the Arkfeld Pro? The last giveaway. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're coming up here close to the end. Oh, so the LEPs. Yeah, so uh, I'll talk about LEPs. I, I know you guys like the LEPs. I, I don't know this for sure. I can double check with engineers. But the reason I think why we're hesitant to come out with LEPs is that LEPs are more complex. And complexity tends, number one, complexity is bad for, let's say, lifetime warranty, right? Because it has more ways to fail um, because you have such high power and the chemistry is different in the way they produce that light. Um, well, it's not an LED. So it's not an LED, it's, right. It's and that's completely what, different technology. Right. And yeah. so that, that's number one. I, don't, I can't give you hard evidence of that, but I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons. Number two, um, as Sean mentioned yesterday when people ask about like the X9R, where's the refresh? Uh, some of the more specialized lights, there may not be a big enough demand for us to do that. So a lot of these lights are everyday carries. Anybody can use them, obviously, in different industries and in different jobs. But if we get into very, very specific lights that will definitely be a higher price point, then it just becomes less of a utility for, more, for most people. So I'm not saying we won't ever do it. It definitely can be there if, if the demand is there. But I, I know there are some companies, smaller ones usually, that come out with like the brightest flash light and super, you know, all, but they just don't have a lifetime warranty. And they're just not gonna, their stuff's just gonna break faster. So we do have to keep that in mind when we develop products. And I know for a fact, one of the prototypes of a, a former product, I talked with the engineer, he said specifically, we like the product. Um, except there was a failure part that we just couldn't accept the rate. Um, it was something on the handle or one of, one of the, the moving mechanisms. So they completely scrapped it when it was almost in the final stage where we were going to sell the product. So this happens. And so we have to think of it holistically as a business. And so LEDs, LEPs are super cool, um, but I don't know if at this moment there's a lot of focus on, on doing that. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, cool questions here. I'm trying to remember them. Um, so, I uh, got a question. Will the, uh, will the Warrior X4 holster fit on a two inch belt? Yes, absolutely. Um, it will definitely fit on a duty belt or a battle belt or a gun belt, you know, whatever you guys have. Uh, no issues there. Uh, I saw somebody asking about doing a, a convention here in Indiana. Jordan said that. Um, the first NRA show, here, a little trip down memory lane. So the first NRA show that I did was in 2019. It was like right before, you know, all hell broke loose with the pandemic. Um, 
was uh, we, we did the NRA show in Indianapolis. Yeah. And nice. we did a product unveiling event at that show. And I got to release the Seeker 2 Pro, uh, which to this day has, has been one of the most successful Olights in existence. Um, you know, we came out with the three and now the four at this point. Um, but, uh, but yes, that was a monumental show. Um, that was a really big deal for us. Releasing the Seeker 2 Pro is probably one of the most important things that we've done as a company at this point, because uh, it's such a monumental release in our history. Um, so that show was incredible. We had an absolute blast uh, in Indianapolis. Uh, met so many people. Um, we went to a brewery. Uh, we rode scooters around. I mean, we had so much fun. Um, got to hang out with a bunch of different influencers and industry people and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I had a freaking blast in Indianapolis. So if, if we can have another event there, that would be great. Uh, yeah, I, I love that city. Um, <laughs> so let's see what else I saw. Ah, uh, can you guys, if you asked a question, can you re-ask it? There were like quite a few that I saw, um, as the comments were, were moving up. Uh, any plans for a warrior mini uh, four? So, so, um, the warrior mini three hasn't been out for that long. Um, the, the warrior mini three was actually released last time I was here in China, um, during our July summer sale. Okay. Um, and uh, the, again, you know, I, I, I think the video that I did was, was here in this same room, like at this same table setup. Um, so if you, if you want to take a look at that, uh, it's just the July summer sale video that was, was going on last year. Um, that light hasn't been out that long. Um, so in terms of coming out with a new version of that light, um, Probably not in the pipeline soon, considering that that light still has our newest tail switch, our newest side switch, really good performance. It's kind of the, the top of technology at this point. Um, so I, I don't think there's any problem with people purchasing the Warrior Mini 3 at this point. Um, it's not like we're gonna come out with the Warrior Mini 4 tomorrow or anything like that. It still has like top level um, you know, tech inside of it, mm -hmm. yeah. The question that was about pressure switch lights. I know the Warrior X4 has a pressure switch, right? That was asked a few times uh, for, which mounting, for mounting lights. Uh, Warrior which X4, has, oh, of course, of course. What, yeah. what else, is the Javelot, would that be considered, this has a pressure switch, right? This, so the Javelot and the, we keep dropping lights, sorry guys. Um, put it down. The, the Javelot actually has the, the exact same tail switch as the Warrior X4. So it's our new um, flat design stainless steel switch. It's got nano molding technology inside of it. So that way, um, anything that is on the tail switch, you'll be able to wipe it away. Um, so we, we basically impregnated the material. I know, I get it. But we, we, <laughs> we basically impregnated the material um, to allow us to where if metal shards or something like that gets onto the tail switch, you can actually just wipe it off. Uh, instead of it being still stuck onto the magnetic switch. So it's a, it's a pretty incredible advancement, um, but the Javelot and the Warrior X4 have the exact same tail switch. This X3 And they both nice. work with the lock-on remote switch. So you can put the Javelot or the Warrior X4 on your rifle. I saw somebody in the comments saying that they have a Warrior X4 on their shotgun. Sure, no problem, that's, that's what they're made for. Um, you know, recoil is no problem. <laughs> Anything's a pressure switch if you're brave enough. <laughs> Best <laughs> comment of that. Uh, this is the X3, where X3, I love this color. We don't have that many of this gunmetal gray, do we? Yeah, the X3 with the, uh, with the finger ring. The finger yeah, ring's awesome. Good... Yeah, the, I've heard people ask, the finger ring's awesome. I love the finger ring. Can we get a lens protector for the Arkfeld Pro? Hmm, that's a good idea. That is a good idea, yeah. Um, you send us an email. Send us an email. Uh, maybe if you, if you have an idea of like a design or something for that, uh, let us know. Yeah. Can you surgically implant an Olight into my arm like Iron Man shooting a missile? We can, <laughs> but we need to work on our biochemistry to make sure that that's compatible with your, your blood type. <laughs> uh, that would be cool. Yeah, you're going to see that. I think in 10, 20 years, we're going to have some impressive um, Im implant. And I know some people do some implants, but there'll be some more of that, I think, in the next 10, 20 years. Austin, thank you. That was one of the questions that I saw that I, that I forgot. Um, so Austin is asking if we can do a zoomable light. 
So uh, we've thought about it. Um, we've talked about it a lot over the years. One of the issues is zoomable lights typically don't have the best performance. They're a little bit more gimmicky right. um, compared to a light like the Marauder Mini where it simply just has multiple functions. So the Marauder Mini is gonna be that solution for you if you want flood and throw in the same light. Right now I'm on flood and then I can hit the switch and now we're on spot. So you can see, hopefully you can, well, let's see. I don't think they can even see that part. So, yeah, behind you is good. Yeah, so you can see here the, uh, the throw and then we'll bounce it over to the flood. So you can see the change in the hot spot and the candela there. So that is basically our best solution to give you a proper distance light and a proper uh, flood light in the same device. Um, having a, a light where you kind of rotate the head or move the head back and forth and stuff like this, um, that's more of kind of a cheaper gimmicky kind I of agree. thing. I agree, yeah. Um, it's more of like an infomercial flashlight kind of a thing. Um, our CEO just doesn't like the performance that, that we've seen from zoomable lights. Um, so as of right now, our solution, if you, if you want to have flood and throw in the same flashlight, mm -hmm. just get a Marauder Mini. It also has the RGB as well. Um, so you can go to the, uh, the red, green, and the blue. And then you've got the, uh, the 32650 uh, battery inside of it. It's uh, one of the most powerful batteries that we have. And then you can still use the magnetic charging function. Um, so you can use the same exact charger for the Arcfeld Pro as for the Marauder Mini, as the Javelot, as the uh, Seeker 4 Pro, yeah. um, even the Baton 4 when it's not in the charging case, you can still use the magnetic charging. You can use it for the Warrior X3, Warrior X4. Uh, the magnetic charging works for, for most of our products. Um, but yes, uh, those zoomable lights are overrated. Kalen, you know, I wasn't gonna say that, but that's kind of true. You know, it's just, we're not really getting the standards, uh, Olight standards in terms of the, the performance and the hotspot and all of that from a light that has some kind of zoomable head that you can, you know, move around and, and that kind of thing. I agree, it's, it's gimmicky. Some of those things, it's just to get your attention, but they're just not gonna last long and they're just not built the way the Marauder Mini is built. I yeah, love if, if, if you wanna get one flashlight for your house, like if you want that one light that you use for power outages, you use it for walking the dog, you use it for checking your backyard, looking at your property, um, you know, you hear a sound late at night, you wanna go check stuff out, like any just kind of home related tasks, you can knock out with the Marauder Mini, you know? Yeah. It's that one light that you, you should probably have in your home. So it does it all. last question, and then we're gonna do a giveaway to finish, is the, they're asking about the Obalb MC refresh. Uh, I think Seb Tech DIY has asked that a few times, the Obalb MC. Yeah, refresh. so um, that's a really good point because the Obalb MC is very, very small. Um, you know, we, we have the, uh, the, the Pro S, and then we have the Plus. Mm -hmm. um, the Plus is actually a part of the DIY section on our website right now. Mm -hmm. You can get a really good deal on the Plus. Um, I would like to see a refresh on the MC. Um, we do have some really cool prototypes and some some oh yeah, there some might cool be some coming up. O bulb things kind of that that we're looking at. Um, I don't know in terms of like the timeline for all of that, but yes, absolutely, yeah. we will at some point be releasing some new designs for the the O bulbs. The yeah. O bulb is still an extremely successful product. We will continue to create the O bulb and continue to evolve the design. Um, yeah. But in terms of like buying stuff now, um, the Obulb Plus is remarkable. It works with the phone app, uh, Android or iPhone. Um, it's got all the different functions. It's got like the, the candle light flicker mode. Yeah. And it's got the, the firefly mode and all kinds of different like RGB LED modes. Um, and you can control it from your phone as well. I have so. the Pro S. I don't have the super small one. I don't have the super big one. So I have the Pro S and I use it every night. The Pro S is the, the middle yeah, one. I yeah, I got the yeah, middle yeah. size yeah. and mm -hmm. I like it. I use it every night. It's my night light for my cats to run around and yell at me. They want more food. You know, that fun stuff. Yeah, if you night. got kids at home, having an O-bulb in their bedroom is great. Yeah, um, I love it. 
my uh, my girlfriend, her uh, her nephew, um, like like when, when her sister is like bathing the kids and stuff, um, she'll uh, she'll do like a bath for them, yeah. like a bubble bath, and she'll take the O bulbs and just throw them in the bathtub um, because they're fully waterproof. And uh, the kids can can play with the bulbs while she's you know bathing the kids and, and stuff like that. So um, there's there's a lot of different uses um, that you can use for the O bulb, um, but it, but it's a great device um, for you know a kids a night light for a kid's bedroom or you know that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. All right. Last one. I'm just gonna answer. Omino charging base needs to come back. I agree. I love the Omino base. We gotta talk to them about getting that in stock and steady stock. We're gonna mention that after this live. Let's do our giveaway. I think we're running close to our end time. We've had a great time today chatting with you. Yeah, yeah. Sean, oh daddy's dropping knowledge. He's dropping <laughs> bombs. He knows it all. It's um, uh, basically just been like a glorified podcast at this point. Yeah, that's what we're doing, man. It's, you know, we want, again, we want you guys to, be able to ask questions. We can't answer everything. I'd love to answer every single one, or we would love to, um, but it, there's just too many of you guys th say things so fast. Um, <laughs> but so we're doing the Arkfeld Pro Racing Stripe giveaway, the biggest, the baddest final giveaway, two exclamation points. Um, so, how should we do the format? How do you want to do it? Can I enter to win? That's my first question. Uh, you can because you don't have one yet, right? You, you said you got OD green and black? Or yeah, not have? the racing shirt. I have, I, no, 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 I have the OD green, the orange, and I have the dragon edition. Oh, sorry, we, yeah. You we went off on the black. dragon tangent. The, dra the dragon, uh, it's important. Yeah. Dragons are the best. So, how do we want to do it? You want to do, let's, let's do the one through thousand this time. And I'm yeah, not Yeah, you can, you, you, you run you can, So, only, yeah. only enter one time. You get one chance again. You have to uh, mention the number one through 1,000. You can I'm, walk over there. I'm walking over there. You better believe it. You slick, you slick people out there. Um, so <laughs> above or below, it doesn't matter. Who is the closest to the number? If you guess the number spot on would be amazing. Um, but one through 1,000, just so we make it a little bit more um, difficult. Not that it's difficult. It's all ratios, right? It is more difficult. Here we go. After we say start, you can put your numbers. Not yet. Um, so, and here we're going back to psychology. You know I picked 291 last time, right? So where am I gonna go from here? Am I going down or am I going up? Think about that while I, I write this no number idea. down. Yeah. All right. We didn't so. plan, like, yeah. It's All right, so I will write my number now. And I am also. He said it looks like we're sitting at a school desk. Yeah. <laughs> so we, me, I know, right? It's let super, me show you how low. cool these chairs are that right, we're sitting so. in. Like, look at these chairs, man. <laughs> Look at these chairs. I want to take one of these home on the airplane, man. <laughs> I was like, how the heck do you get those chairs? Uh, <laughs> oh man, he's working hard over here. He's coming up with the number. He's coming up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to write down final giveaway so you know it's the real number two, All right? Cool. I like the, uh, so let's make sure Sean can see it. That's the number. You okay. see it? Yeah, cool. And I wrote down final goodbye. I like the, the psychological suspense of this, right? I, I like know. guessing go, 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 games go, go. And, and the way that our, we, we, we think about this. All right, the number yep, is, yep. has been written down. All right, so close it. Close it. Here it is. Lock it up. Throw away the key. Bring a flashlight. Oh, you saw my belly a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what's going on here? It's getting weird. No, uh. Ready? Okay, push start. Put start down. Doesn't start till now. After okay. start, the numbers count. You only get one guess, so if you guess twice, we will double check. Don't you dare, guys. So let's see. Oh, man, we got to go through it now. We yeah, got to go through go. it now. Oh, I think we got someone who's really close already. Uh, oh, but they only get one. You get one, 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 one guess, right? So, so they can't keep guessing. All I right. saw someone super close. Here, let me go check. I gotta go look. Gotta There's go no look. way that I'm gonna be able to tell. So, I saw someone very close. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, We're working on it, guys. Yeah. Okay. But I saw someone who was close. This is like, who, who's the closest? <laughs> cool chair. <laughs> I know. I saw someone close. See if someone got it spot on or not. All right, we're uh, trying to make sure that we found the uh, the right winner. It's a really big giveaway, so just give us a minute. 
to make sure that we do it right. Thank you guys for your patience. Appreciate it. Have we all guessed, guys? I'll give you another, another 30 seconds to guess if you haven't guessed. Yeah, I did say one guess. So you can only have one guess. Don't try to guess twice because I'll look. If, we'll, we'll reference to see if you've, you guessed twice. If you're done guessing, let me know. He's looking. He's looking. I'm watching. I'm watching. Can you see my face now? Did you bring your bongos? <laughs> I did not bring my bongos. All right, here's the countdown. 10 outfit. seconds left. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Get your guess in 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Put stop in the, put stop in the comments. Stop on the comments. All right, so I think I saw someone very close. Okay. And I'm gonna find that person. I don't know if someone got it directly, but someone was one number away. There are a few co close guesses. All right, so I'm going Thank you, through. Phil, appreciate that. Thanks for your some, support. Some close guesses. I did see someone that was close. I don't know if I got the exact number though. Give me a couple All seconds right. here, guys. I'm scanning. Do, 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 do. I do the record here. Do you understand? Above. Yeah. All right, we're, hold on, we're almost there. Sean will buy bongos while he's in chat, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna ask him yeah. to order some today. Um, some start, so start. I'm not even kidding, yeah. I'm gonna order some today. <laughs> so, so hopefully you see bongos soon. They have very, very fast shipping here in China. Like some of the websites ship like, like same day. Um, they're very efficient here. Oh, here's start, yeah. Oh, thank you, Seb. So thank you so much. Was... Keep going, ding, ding, ding. Sorry guys, almost there. I know I saw someone the closest. Yeah, they will be cheaper there, yeah, they will be, for sure. Also, since I'm here, you get to skip all the, uh, the import taxes and all of the crazy stuff. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the things that makes products a lot more expensive is all of the, uh, you know, the custom fees and the taxes and the shipping costs and, and all of that kind of stuff. That's where like product prices really, really add up. Um, so, uh, no, no, you kind of, you got, you got, so yeah. I'm basically gonna buy as much stuff as I possibly can while I'm here. Uh, <laughs> uh, put the bongos on the lucky wheel. Dude, they're big, they're hard to ship. <laughs> uh, Brett, how's the weather? Yeah, that's fun. So, um, it is, the weather here uh, in Shenzhen is very similar to Florida. Uh, it's humid, uh, it's pretty hot, um, but it's also beautiful. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, the air is kind of, you know, a little bit thicker because we're here at the bottom of the country, um, similar to the South in the U S. Um, so, you know, it's very, very warm outside. It's definitely t-shirt and short weather right now. Uh, I think it's probably around 80 to 85 degrees today. Um, and, uh, you know, high humidity like usual okay. here. And, um, but you know, it's, it's nice. At least it's not cold. It's not winter here by any means. All right, we got it. So the, the winner. All right, here we go. Hold drum, on. Hold drum on. roll, please. Was Randolph Ham. 111, he guessed, and show him what the number was. The number was 106. 106 was the number. Randolph Ham coming through. That's your winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think Randolph's in the UK as well. So, uh, so congratulations. Oh, Randolph. cool. All right. Randolph's yeah. in the UK. Yeah, I did see him uh, uh, talking. Yeah, he was times. talking about customer service. That's I think. right. I think I saw. Um, All right, cool. Well, congratulations, Randolph. Randolph. Rand Randall or Randolph? Randolph, I think. It's Randolph, yes. you're right. Yeah, 111. Yeah. The guess was one. I thought I saw a 107, but I didn't see it. So everything was after we said start, so we know the rules. Um, wait, Angel Pratt's, that's what I thought. So hold on, that's what I thought. Angel Pratt's did have 107. That's what I thought. I knew my eyes didn't deceive me. Hold on. Whoa, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold Sorry, on, Randall, hold we on. gotta pause. We gotta pause here. I did see it, Angel, Angel, Angel before. Uh, I am uh, very glad she that- She did, she did, I did see it. I did see it. Um, Amir is leading this giveaway and not me. I did, um, I did see that, yeah. If I knew you are mad about anything whatsoever, 
feel free to contact Amir and not me. <laughs> um, well, I, okay, so it, we, we just have to go through, we're going to have to go through the video, but <laughs> I think, okay, I'm sorry, Randall, Randall, don't, don't kill us, but I did see Angel, but we can't find her in the, you did say that, Angel, because I did see 107. Uh, we're going to go through the video and double check. Um, so send us your email because I think you did win, Angel. Angela or Angel, I don't know who it is, um, however you pronounce that. But I did see that 107 as it was going down, and that's what I was looking for. But for whatever reason, it's possible it got deleted in the chat. Um, but no, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna I'm gonna call an audible here. I I'm just gonna. We didn't talk about this, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. Let's just give one away to, to both of them. Uh, that's, okay? that's, that's super smooth. That's yeah. super smooth. We're not, so. gonna, we're not gonna do that to you, Randolph. Um, so we're gonna give one away to Angel and to, uh, to Randolph. Randolph, right? man. Congratulations. Well done. Whoa. Well done. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna call it. We're not gonna take it away from you, Randolph. In, in British fashion, he says, sniff, snuff. Should get one too. All right, Randall, we got you. Sniff, snuff it is. Um, so, all right, we'll get you. We'll get, sniff, sniff. Okay, sniff, sniff. Yeah, we're not, gonna, right. we're not gonna take that away But to be him, fair, so. Angel was the winner because I did see that. I knew I saw that, but anyway, the, you guys go so fast and maybe it's just the way that they, they filter comments for whatever reason occasionally. Awesome. And maybe they didn't like that 107. We don't so, know why. So send me an email um, after this live. Live. I'm gonna jump on my laptop and I'm gonna start checking my email and start submitting the winner's addresses to our shipping department. Um, so, uh, so email me, guys. Go ahead and get that done so I can go ahead and uh, and submit it. Um, you know, I got a hundred different tasks I'm doing every day, so uh, so please email me immediately so I can go ahead and, and get that done before I forget anything, right? There it is. All right, so, yeah. that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure, as always. And um, take care of yourselves. Have a good evening. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and with we'll us. we'll be back again uh, tomorrow again? We'll back yeah, tomorrow. we're going to be back tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a little bit uh, shorter. Um, yeah. You know, this is the first one we've done together. Right. Um, you know, kind of a trial run. Uh, tomorrow will be a little bit more efficient. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll be live tomorrow night as well because the, uh, the, the sale event is still going on. Um, so yeah, a yeah. couple more days, right? So get whatever you need, put in your cart, check out those bundles because there's some hot bundles, big savings, big discounts, mm -hmm. and you know all about the Olights, guys. So we're signing off. Peace. I'm getting coffee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> It's getting to that point. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mic check, mic bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Actually, I have the bathroom.